Stanford Hospital is now using technology that could change the way breast cancer is diagnosed. Doctors believe this new tool has the potential to identify those cancers more accurately and with fewer false alarms. Sylvia Liu is a believer in the value of having an annual mammogram, but she says her first appointment turned into a nerve-wracking ordeal after she received a follow-up phone call. And they said, well, we need you back to do more imaging. So I, I guess as all women, I'm freak out. I'm like, is there any problem? Uh, they said, well, uh, we don't know. There was a shadow. After spending the weekend worrying, Sylvia learned that the shadow was not cancer, but likely caused by her dense breast tissue, which can make standard imaging more difficult. This time around, she's turned to Stanford Hospital and a different kind of breast imaging. Go ahead and breathe, but don't move. The technology is known as tomosynthesis. It's a form of x-ray that produces both two-dimensional and three-dimensional images in a single session. If doctors notice an area that's suspicious on the normal image, they can turn to the 3D to essentially examine it from a different angle. Dr. Jaffe Lipson is an assistant professor of radiology at Stanford. It looks a little bit dense on two dimensions, and so you wonder, is that a real finding? The benefit of tomosynthesis is that you have multiple images at slightly different angles of this X-ray tube, and that allows you to resolve a lot of artifact that we normally see when we just take a two-dimensional projection image of the breast. A recent change in state law now requires doctors to notify women if they're diagnosed with dense breasts, but it's also touched off debate over the best way to screen those women. Dr. Laura Esserman is a surgeon and breast cancer researcher at UCSF. A lot of people are advocating uh, ultrasound, but ultrasound has a huge false positive rate. You'll find lots of nodules and you'll have 80 to 90 percent of those will turn out to be nothing. She says another choice, MRI, is extremely effective for the highest risk patients but can also produce false positives. She believes tomosynthesis has practical advantages for widespread use. Probably be the easiest to disseminate and I think will not have anywhere near as high a false positive rate. Kind of a supercharged uh, mam mammogram exam that um, gives us more sensitivity and specificity. Dr. Lipson says the current units deliver about the same amount of radiation as a normal mammogram, in addition to saving many women like Sylvia Liu from having to return for additional scans. That's definitely, you know, less scary for all the women. And while tomosynthesis offers specific advantages to women with denser breasts, Stanford is also making the technology available to all women in their breast screening program. All right. Well, at, well